Yes, I am wearing the same shirt that I wore in my last video. I cannot be fussed to change, so this is what you get. <laughs> Hi friends, my name is Jess and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Books Fast Bedtime. Thank you so much for being here as always. Today we are going to be doing the mid-year book freakout tag and I know I'm late to this, or at least I feel like I'm late to this. I feel like everyone posts this like in the beginning of June, but I just, I can't I film it then because <laughs> the year's not half over. Like it's not mid-year until it's the end of June, the last day of June. I, I don't know, I just can't wrap my head around doing this tag any earlier. So the 11th day of July and we're filming it now. And that's just how it's gonna be. So <laughs> without further ado, let's just jump right into the questions. So the first tag question is pretty basic. Your favorite read of 2021 so far this year. And for me, that definitely has to go to In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. This is a nonfiction memoir about Carmen's time in an abusive relationship. This is some very hard subject matter to read, um, but Carmen is such a beautiful writer and a very like metaphorical writer. She uses the structure of this house to frame her entire narrative, different types of houses representing different stages and events in her relationship um, and it was just a very beautiful story and I feel like not a lot of people talk about the abuse that can happen in queer relationships and Carmen is really making it her mission to do that and I just think that's very admirable of her to share her story for that purpose and this is just a very powerful read one of the most powerful reads I have read in my life much less in 2021 so this is definitely taking the cake for my favorite read of the year so far. The next question is the best sequel you have read so far in 2021 and for me that definitely has to be <laughs> The Wicked King by Holly Black. This is the second book in the Cruel Prince trilogy. This is a young adult fantasy series that takes place in fairy in this fairy world and our main character Jude is a human but she's grown up in fairy and really feels the need to approve herself and she is very much obsessed with getting power and keeping power and holding power. Jude is definitely that bitch. There's also kind of a little like a light bully romance going on between her and the prince. It's just fantastic. I feel like this series is so well written and I know it gets a lot of hype. But I feel like it also gets a lot of negative reviews but honestly I am fully positively reviewing this series. I just I don't know. I love it to bits and this second book was particularly good. This is definitely my favorite of the three. Just the level of angst is immaculate. I love me some angst in my YA fantasy and this delivers so much more than anything else that I've ever read. Like, I know I'm hyping this up a lot, but it was just like the perfect book for me. I don't know if it's the perfect book for everyone. It's most likely not, but I just loved it so much. And I think Holly Black is a very talented author and just puts a lot into the story and really like thinks through every single word and every single plot point in the book. Like everything has a purpose. Everything keeps the plot moving forward. There's nothing like extra in it. And I feel like that just makes for a great reading experience and is one of the reasons I love this book so much. It just packs a huge punch in like a short little package. Oh, it's so good. I love this book so much. Definitely the best sequel I've read in 2021. And it might be like one of the best sequels ever. Like it is so good. <laughs> The third question is a new release that is still on your 2021 TBR and when I wrote out this tag like when I scripted it or like picked out the books I was going to use for each question I had um, Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams as well as Survive the Night by Riley Sager on this list but in the past week I have actually read both of those so they are no longer on my to be read list. Um, I really enjoyed both of them. They were excellent but I will talk more about them in my July wrap up but a 2021 release that I still haven't picked up is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is a book that is set, I believe, in the 80s, and it follows three or four siblings who are all the children of these somebody famous I think and they're like throwing this one last summer party and everything goes wrong and all of this dramatic stuff happens. I really don't know exactly what the plot of this book is but I have heard only good things. My friend Haley literally said it's like one of the best books she's ever read and so I cannot wait to read this. I've heard nothing but good things. Daisy Jones and the Six was my favorite book of 2019 so Taylor Jenkins Reid is definitely that bitch and I'm very excited to pick this one up. I think I will love it. The fourth question is some new releases that 
aren't out yet that you're still anticipating for the second half of 2021. I do have a whole video on this for books that are coming out in the next quarter in July, August, and September on my channel if you'd like to check it out. And of course in September I'll put out one for October, November, and December new releases, but just a little preview of a couple things that I am really really looking forward to. Number one is Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. I believe this is set in the same world as The House in the Cerulean Sea, but following different characters. I think it is about this ghost who falls in love with the fairy man who like escorts ghosts into the realm of the dead or something. I think that's gonna be cute and fun and I'm excited to pick this one up for sure. TJ Klune is just I think a very talented author. Very excited to read that book. I am also very excited for Velvet Was the Night by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I really loved Silvia Moreno Garcia's 2020 release, Mexican Gothic. I thought it was excellent. So I'm very excited to read this new one. I believe this one takes place in Mexico City during a time of unrest and protests and it follows this woman who's next door neighbor. She's very enamored by her but then she gets really involved in the protest scene and ends up going missing and so our main character really wants to figure out what happened to her. Even though like Mexican Gothic was a little bit weird, I still think about it all the time to this day and it sticks so vividly in my mind. Sylvia Moreno Garcia is just a very talented author so I'm very excited to pick up this new release by her. And finally I'm very excited for The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. This is a thriller coming out that is all about this like therapy group of a couple final girls who are like the only people to survive some kind of tragic incident. I think one of them goes missing in the group and everybody's scrambling trying to figure out what's going on and who is targeting them. So there's lots of books coming out in the next couple of months and I'm super excited for but those are probably some of my top most anticipated reads for the second half of 2021. Now the next question is the biggest disappointment you had in 2021 and for that I think I'm actually gonna say The Butterfly Garden by Dot Hutchinson. Now I didn't hate this book by any means but I definitely would categorize it in the disappointing category because I had pretty high hopes for it. This is an adult thriller and it has such a cool concept. Not like cool but like I just felt like the concept was perfect for a fast-paced high intensity thriller because it's about this um, serial killer who kidnaps and collects young women and keeps them in this butterfly garden and he tattoos butterfly wings on their backs and he keeps them until they're 21 and then he encases them in resin so that they're preserved <laughs> when they're at their peak beauty or whatever. Very fascinating concept, very creepy concept for a thriller but it just wasn't executed very well. The main character kind of gave me manic pixie dream girl energy, women written by a man energy even though I don't believe Dot Hutchinson is a man. I don't know why she gave off that energy but she just did and I just felt like the way she processed and handled her trauma was very unrealistic and strange um, and very manic pixie dream girl being very uh, unaffected by it all. <laughs> so unaffected that she had a romance with this man's son while she was captured. I just... I don't know, it felt icky to me and I just didn't love the way that it was executed. So it definitely was a letdown and probably my most disappointing read of the year so far. On the other hand, my biggest surprise was probably Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. This was the third Riley Sager book I picked up. I really liked Home Before Dark. I didn't love it as much as everyone else did. Um, and I pretty much hated Final Girls. I thought it was awful. <laughs> so going into this, I wasn't quite sure what to think. I figured I would probably like it, but I didn't think that I would like it as much as I did. This book was so addicting and I just loved every second of it. This is an adult thriller following this girl who gets this job house-sitting this immaculate apartment in this really nice building in New York City and it all seems too good to be true and that's because it is. She quickly finds out that a lot of the residents in the building have something to hide. The situation is a lot more sinister than she originally believed. This just has a wild and crazy twist in it and it's just very compulsively readable like you just sit down and want to binge the entire thing and find out what happens and I love that kind of book and I've really been needing that kind of book this year so I think that this definitely took me by surprise how much I loved it. It is quickly solidifying Riley Sager as one of my favorite authors which is actually the next question. Um, What is your favorite new author and I definitely would have to put Riley Sager in that category. I just feel like his books are an auto buy for me now and I just think he's writing some of the best thrillers out there currently and like some of the most consistently best thrillers and that was proven again when I read Survive the Night recently. Absolutely loved that one as well. Well, so I think Riley Sager is definitely probably my new favorite author as of this year. The next question is the most beautiful book you have acquired this year and I think for that I am definitely going to have to say The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. I just think this is the most gorgeous freaking book I have ever seen in my entire life. The colors are just incredible and the artistry and 
like just the realism of it it is so so beautiful i am so obsessed with this cover there's literally no other word for it other than stunning like i am so happy that this is on my shelf Be most beautiful book i've ever seen in my life probably and i'm not much like of a special edition buyer so i don't have anything that's like fancy with the deco edges or like the weird binding or whatever but i think this would be prettier than that anyway so definitely my answer and the final question of the tag what are some books that are on your tbr for the rest of the year so i'm actually doing a, a little project and it involves reading a lot of horror books so that's one thing that you're going to see i've been really feeling like thrillers are a hit or miss for me but a lot of times when i'm reading horror i really like it and i want to dive more into the genre so i'm doing a project where i'm reading a lot of horror books so you'll be seeing a lot of those on wrap-ups coming up i also want to read a lot of like my friends recommendations your guys's favorite books of the year so far and just of the year in general so those are some of my plans i do have concrete plans of what i'm going to read but i kind of want some things to be a surprise um you're just gonna have to stick around and find out <laughs> and with that if you liked this video definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see what i have coming out very excited for a bunch of things that i'm planning in the up and coming months so i would love it if you subscribed and stuck around but yeah that's pretty much it for me today and for this tag so thank you so much for watching and for being here let me know what the best book you've read so far in 2021 is down in the comments below i would love to know you can also follow me on instagram and twitter if you want to keep up with me on the date today i also have every book i talked about linked in the description down below as always if you're interested in any of these books i really would appreciate you buying through my link because i can get a really tiny commission and no extra cost to you definitely check out the description if you're interested in supporting my channel and yeah i think that is about it i will see you guys in the next one and i hope you have a great day thanks for being here bye